Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session the 11th of October 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signal to market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so we have um, Asian markets certainly uh, down again overnight uh, quite substantially. Uh, you've got the Chinese index down quite substantially. You have a US market certainly sliding. If you look at the actual chart of the S&P 500 uh, at present, you can see the daily chart currently trading as low as 27.44, 27.58 was gap fill. Uh, and then obviously you've got gap fill below at 27.14. I mean, this is one hell of a sell-off. You've got 29.40. I mean, you're down almost 200, more than 200 handles now. Uh, what a sell-off. Unbelievable. Uh, truly amazing. I mean, if you are continuing on this rate, then you are looking at retesting 2700 and back down to 2600 when the actual rally more or less began. Um, so this year, I mean, that is uh, pretty impressive to say the least. OK, and especially given the fact that the number of days that that's obviously that sell off has occurred as well. That's even more prolific. So just bear that in mind. OK, now in terms of the European indices this morning, uh, economic data front. OK, so we've got uh, Mr. Carney's speech. So watch out for that today. OK. Uh, again, really, the whole concept really is rising yields, uh, US dollar threat, and obviously uh, the Fed hawkishness, emerging markets around as well, and Asian markets down overnight, obviously, given the fact that US equities are down given the trade war with China. So, really, I think it's pointless really elaborating on anything else uh, for now. Uh, obviously, you've got Mr. Carney's speech to so watch out there. Again, it will be damage control, CPI data, inflation data out of the US. Now, let's just go back to the technical damage, really. That's, I think that's what we really need to be focusing on. The weekly chart of the German DAX now, I mean, you're approaching that 200 MA. It really is in free fall at the moment, so certainly looking very, very bearish at present. Uh, daily chart again, I mean, you've got doji candle here of the gap fill, so certainly sort of a promising sign there for a potential reversal. French CAC as well, looking for a potential reversal of gap fill. Unbelievable sell-off, just have to, be, have to respect it for now. Uh, in terms of the FTSE 100, again, the market sell-off. We're really in no man's land at the moment. Uh, again, my... Uh, potential long really has been based on you got gap fill in this zone here as well so let's watch out here around the 7020 zone okay potential support zone there uh, going to the smaller time frames in the FTSE really I mean it's again it's no man's land to a large extent again looking for a potential reversal here now given the fact that US s and 500 is in support and we are now into that pivot s3 support as well so watch out there uh, in terms, uh, last but not least, looking at the euro stocks. Now, euro stocks on the weekly chart, you certainly have potential support. Okay, so again, looking for potential support, that, uh, potential wick. If the market continues, the next support is 3160. So it's been one hell of a sell off. Obviously, Italian concerns, uh, concerns over US, China, I mean, rising yields, a hawkish Fed. Everything certainly has come together. Obviously, uh, given the fact that Mr. Trump's uh, threat against China situation there certainly isn't being resolved and uh, the supply chains in the in the US certainly being uh, obviously uh, filtered through or cleaned from China that's their interpretation anyway so again a bias certainly uh, increasing to the sound side quite a significant sell-off yesterday very very impressive especially with the uh, the nasdaq as well okay i think that's a good summation really of european indices my summation really is that this market is extremely oversold at present certainly is uh, ripe for a potential short squeeze so any news regarding china any news regarding italy uh, on a positive note you are looking for a, a very powerful short squeeze on that note please be sure to visit trade signal signals a market update from leading providers goodbye now.